AI killed the old way of making websites, and if you're not using the up-to-date tools, then you're just wasting time and money. As always, I'll have a link in the description below, but Hostinger has an incredible deal going on right now where you can save up to 85% off, plus use Franklin AI at checkout, you get an additional 10% off, making it my go-to for AI website creation. Why? Because it's fast, affordable, and they have some incredible AI features, multiple paths to use AI to bring your website, your idea, your vision to life. You can see they have three different options, premium plus AI, business plus AI, and cloud startup plus AI. Regardless of what option you pick, you're gonna have AI by your side to help you get started. For just $1.95 a month, you can create up to three websites, you get 20 gigs of storage, and a ton of AI features. If you're paying 80 cents more, that is the best bang for your buck. It's $2.75 a month, and you can create up to 50 websites. So if you're anything like me, I like to create websites. I like to capitalize on different ideas I have. And you can see here, our subtotal is $132 total, and we can actually enter in our coupon code. So we can put Franklin AI, we can hit apply and our coupon code will bring that price right down for us. So we're saving some money. As with most services, if you pick the 48 month plan, it will bring the total down even further. So that's $118 for a full 48 months, which is a very good deal. So if we come to websites here, we need to create a website. So let's see, we're gonna go through the process together and we're going to create one. So we're gonna say myself or a business, we're gonna hit next, and we are going to create a brand new website. And again, we're gonna hit next. And now we have two different options and they both use AI. And I'm gonna take you through both of them so you can kind of see the difference of which one you want to use. Regardless of what you choose, they're both really easy to use. So the AI website builder, you put in a prompt, you put in a description, it's going to build a website for you that you can easily drag and drop, modify text and make changes. And the AI features are incredible. I'm going to show you in just a second. And then if you're using Horizons, Horizons is more of a, hey, I'm going to prompt it. It's going to build different pages. It's going to do basically whatever you want, themes, add images and everything else. So Horizons is really good for like web applications and Website Builder is good for stores and just more traditional based websites. So let's start off with the Website Builder. Now I am going to pick my domain and I'm gonna go with mangoarcade.com and we're going to hit next and it is really this easy. We're gonna put in some personal information. We now have a page that looks like this where we have to put in a brand name. So Mango Arcade, which is our brand name. And now for my description, I'm going to put in, I run a business called Mango Arcade. I want a fun retro tropical website with neon orange colors and an online store for selling my arcade cabinets. So we can see here, we have this button that says add online store to my site. It is that easy. We can just hit create website and there is this little progress bar. It's creating content right now. It's making the entire website for us based off the prompt that we had. And we're gonna see in just a second, we're gonna have a very easy to update website. So play retro, feel mango, and we can obviously change around, add logos and do whatever we want to our arcade website. So you can see arcade fun, and we can see different cabinets. And it even put in placeholders for us that it generated. It has a nice little newsletter at the bottom. We have a very good starting point for a professional looking website. If we hit shop, we can see what the shop looks like. We can click any of these and we can see everything that it just created off of one single prompt. Again, hit create again and that will bring us back. And then we can just, hey, can you try this again and redo this? And if we are happy with whatever it creates this time around, and hopefully it will look just as good as the one we saw, because that was a very good base, I think, okay, this is a little different. It's not bad. We can pick a color palette on the right. So we can decide what our color palette will look like. So maybe we want like that bright red to correspond or whatever we want. So I'm gonna go with this color palette actually, cause it's like mango. And then we're going to hit continue in the top right. So we are starting to build our store and it is much faster and cheaper than something like Shopify. I also use Shopify. So anyway, we can add our first product here and we can add it with the help of AI. So we can see here, we can add product and now we have some options. So we have like a physical product, multiple physical products, digital products. You can see services, donations, appointments, gift cards, a print on demand product. All right, so I'm gonna upload our image of our arcade cabinet and you can see here what we have. It is a Pac-Man arcade cabinet. 
that we will be selling on Mango Arcade. And just by uploading the image of the arcade, it has actually gone ahead and instantly filled in the title, the subtitle, it told us the ribbon, it gave us an entire description. I didn't have to do any of that, it did it for me. So we can put in a price, then we can scroll down and we can hit save, which is like underneath me, and it's that easy. We now have our first item in stock. We can actually click the other ones, we're gonna just remove them, because I actually only wanna add actual real cabinets that the company has. So let's hit delete here and let's go and add one more product just to show you how this works again. Physical product here. And I'm gonna go on the right here. I just have a image of one of the products that they will have. And we're gonna take it, we're gonna drag it over. I'm gonna do this all live so you can see it. It's just wild what this does. So it's gonna like read the image and then fill it all in for you. So if you wanna make a store and sell, this is the way to do it. Check this out nice and filled in, nice and easy. And now we have our price again, so 450. Again, we can add the weight, we can add shipping, we can add all this different information. And again, I'm gonna hit save and check this out. We now have two items on our store that quickly. Our changes aren't live yet. Let's just hit publish and editor, and this is gonna be live on our website. So it is using AI to create a website, but it is really, really smart on how it uses it. So if we scroll down now, we can actually see here are the two different cabinets that we just added in like mere seconds. And you can actually see them. We can hit add the bag. We have an entire checkout system that we just used and created. And then remember all those AI tools I was showing you earlier? Well, they're built in here. So we can generate images. We can have the writer help us, a page generator. So we can just generate an entire page. So say we want to click that, we can just create a page. So create a page about the history of arcade cabinets and why people would want to buy one. And now we can hit create page and it's literally going to design and add this page to our website. We don't need to sit down and manually do anything. It just does it. And just like before, you can see here, we can go through and we can like modify any part of the text. We can change it all. We have full control. Again, it's using AI in a really smart manner where it makes sense. It's not just AI thrown in for the sake of being thrown in. You control everything. So you can see the FAQ, why buy it? who has one, you can see some reviews. Again, we can actually edit this and use a real review. And you can also see we have access to AI Writer here. Also under AI Tools, you're gonna notice something called AI SEO Assistant. So this is gonna go through page by page, ensuring that you're maximizing your search engine optimization. So we can improve for the homepage and you can click it and you can see what it would look like, Mango Arcade, Retro Arcade Cabinets Online. We can see the keywords, we can see the focus keywords, we can see the titles. It tells us, hey, the description length should be 156 characters, the current count is 129 characters. So we need to increase and add stuff to our meta description so we can maximize our search engine optimization, which means more people find us through Google, and that means we will get more sales for our business. And if we go to shop, for example, you can see what we need to do here. They also have a button at the top that says generate new SEO. So we can actually tell us about the page and you can see exactly it fills it in for us. We can hit next and it's gonna just go step-by-step step to make search engine optimization a lot better. So you can see keywords for our page. It's not really gaming setups, retro gaming maybe, and Mango Arcade we could, but it only wants three. So anyway, let's hit next. That sounds good. You can see we have now updated our SEO title and our meta description automatically. It is super advanced as well. So if you go to styles, for example, you can see all the different styles and you can see all the colors and how many times they were used. Fonts, you can see, you can see the buttons and what they look like. You can even say animations. Okay, I want slide or I want fade or scale. You have some options to enhance your website the way you want. Let's say we want to adjust our header. I'm gonna click header here, and I want to add an actual logo. So I'm gonna hit replace image, and we're going to upload one. You can see the logo has been uploaded. We can see at the top, we can make it like super wide. We can adjust what, however we want. There's also this use AI to create a unique logo that we can use. So if you don't have a logo, we can just generate one. Along the left side, you can click store and you can like add your payment details, 
figure out how you want to take care of your orders, do appointments, discounts, everything. It is all built in into one website. So you can see what you have access to. You can add Instagram feeds, social buttons. It is all here really easy to use, but with really smart AI that is built in. But you can see here, we are only on website builder. There is an entire other way of building a website on Hostinger that I haven't even covered yet. That is also AI driven. That is incredibly powerful. On the left, there's something called Horizons. We can click that and we can go from idea to website or web app in minutes. So the other one is just like really good websites. Imagine like WordPress, but on steroids where you have really smart AI integrated. It is extremely easy to use set up. You have your website up and running in mere minutes. This one can do websites and apps as well. And if we scroll down, you can see a whole bunch of different pre-made templates. So like a workout generator, a creative agency website, you can see all the different options and we can just keep hitting show more, show more. If we don't have what they need, well, don't worry, AI can create it for us. So this time around, I'm going to give it a prompt that says create a prototype for a website called Mega Arcade. I want to be a place where you can play games or web-based games. And I've also uploaded the logo and we're going to see what it can do with this request because I'm not being overly specific about what I want. I gave it a logo. We're going to see what it can do. So it says, great, let's take a quick guide to chat you through each step that it's going to complete. So we're going to just kind of go through it. It's going to say, hey, the chat is on the left. It's pretty standard stuff if you have used any AI related tools before. But if you haven't, I'm just going to take you through it myself after I go through the initial setup. So on the left here, we can actually talk back and forth. And we are literally using AI to create every aspect of this entire thing. So it says, I'll have your vibe. Let me create a fun Mango Arcade website prototype for you before I begin building. Just a quick question. What style do you prefer? Do you want a retro arcade feel or do you want a modern gaming look or something else? I'm not gonna make it easy. Let's push the boundaries. So I said a retro arcade feel, but here's the hard part. Put a couple of playable games in using threes.js. So I even told it the model I want it to use or the library, I guess. And we're gonna see what it's able to do. You can see here in the background, it is coding. There are some really helpful tips that you can see. So if you run into errors multiple times, you can get the last working version. You can click restore, which is really good for best results. Keep your messages simple, short, and focus on one change at a time. These are actually really, really useful tips if you haven't done AI coding like this before. So this is great. It is almost done. It is coding out our website for us. On the left, we see awesome. Your Mango Arcade prototype is ready. I built a retro arcade website with and a neon themed homepage with animated bright branding and game cards. We have a brick breaker game that it made and a space shooter game. And both games are fully playable with 3D graphics, neon glow effects, and the classic arcade vibe you wanted. Check out the preview and let me know if you'd like for me to add more games, change colors, or tweak anything. So here we go. This is really cool. So it added our logo. You can see it. We can kind of scroll down and we see Mango Arcade or Retro Meets Neon. And now we have our featured games and it says why Mango Arcade and it added all this in as well. And there's apparently going to be some leaderboards here. Do the games actually work? Let's let's try Brick Breaker. So, wow. Okay. So it actually made a Brick Breaker game for us that is actually functional and looks pretty cool. And it matches the whole vibe of the rest of the website. So I'm not going to like sit here and play Brick Breaker because I don't get really boring really quickly. But we need to try Space Shooter to see if that one works. And we can hit play. And here is Space Shooter. Okay, so I can move my with my keyboard and like my left arrow, my right arrow, and we use space to shoot. So it is actually not only made the website for us, but it made the entire like game system as well. And again, the background looks pretty cool. We'd have to like talk to it and say, hey, when you hit the pink stuff, you should, uh, I guess we did lose. There's lives in the top, right? I stand corrected. All right, home it is. So we can see here, we have the start of something really cool. The little animations it made, it is really nice. We don't have a games page. So if you click games, nothing happens. So we're gonna come back to the bottom left here, create a link to the games page and add categories to this page and list the games for the given category. So it's going to go through and add a whole new page to our website and hopefully link it all together. While this is coding away, I wanna show you something. It's called Ask Cody, it's in the top right here. And if you click it, it's an AI assistant, but it doesn't use your website, it won't change anything on your website, it won't use your AI credits. So if you're like talking to your website and you're saying, hey, add this page, do this, do that, it is using a credit each time. This one, Cody, does not use any credits. 
So maybe we said, how do I change the code of my website? It will go through and it should give us an answer of exactly how to do that. So you can see here to change the code of your hosting or horizons website by using the code editor feature to access it in your project, click the code button and it's going to tell us exactly how to do it. So if you have any questions about hosting or how to use any of the features, you can just ask Cody at any time. You can create new chats. He is always there to help you. So now we should have a games page. Check that out. We have classic arcade action. There's a whole section for puzzle that's coming. But just like that, we have a home page with feature games. And now we have an actual game page. And it was like literally as simple as typing up in the left side to the AI to get it to add this. In the top right, they also have integrations. So there is Superbase. So imagine this is like a database that your website can use. So you can have people that can sign up and register and log in and store stuff and have profiles and all that kind of fun stuff. So if we want to have a high score system, we're going to definitely need to link Superbase to our Mango Arcade, where Superbase will have the ability to store user data, store high scores, and all that kind of thing. We also have an online shop, which is similar to what I just showed you. If we want to track how many viewers, just one click analytics, now enabled. There is also Stripe that we can add, so we can add subscriptions, or maybe we want to have games that people have to pay to play, and we can add that in just one click. So all of these are really easy to use. We click Superbase, we hit connect, it's going to link us to the Superbase website. It's going to say, hey, do you want to authorize the API? You can see it here. Do you want to give read and write access? I hit authorize and it's authorizing API access to my Franklin AI. And just like that, Superbase is now connected. We can now use it on Horizons and we can use it in our AI chat back and forth. A couple other really quick things. We're under preview right now. We can actually hit edit content and the things that are like highlighted, we can quickly click and change. If it's not highlighted, that means we have to talk to the chat to have it change because that data is stored somewhere else. But it's pretty cool that we can quickly change the top. We can change the top up here. We can actually make modifications without having to go through AI and talk to it each and every time. There is also a code version and you can see all the different code here. We can also export the code if we want. That is an option. If we are ready, we can actually hit publish and our website will go live. You can see our website here. The transition in is really nice. As we scroll down, it has these nice little effects. The hover effects, we can see all the games. And if we hit explore games, it actually brings us to our game page now. Everything is linked. And this is just with like a couple of prompts. We have an entire website that can go live that quickly, that easily. And it's crazy because the games actually do work. We can sit here and play Brick Breaker. You can see your lives and the score in the top right, and you can actually beat this game. So we're, we can build like a whole Mango Arcade just by a couple of prompts, or we can use the AI website builder to make more of a traditional website with a store and sell maybe arcade cabinets. Regardless of what you choose, Hostinger offers something for you, and their AI features are really good. I know I've said it a few times in this video, but I really like that the AI features are thought out. It's not just kind of thrown into the mix. I've tested so many different AI tools, different websites, where AI is just kind of a catchphrase to kind of drag or pull people in, where Hostinger's tools, their AI features actually make a lot of sense. So if you're selling a product, why not read the product and try to guess and put in the title and the description? It did an amazing job. And if you guys saw it, I did it live with you. So I think the tool set is phenomenal and the price right now is even better. So like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, definitely check it out in the link below. Use Franklin AI at checkout for an additional 10%, but their Cyber Monday deal is really, really good. So you want to take it advantage of that now while you can. If you guys enjoy AI, don't forget to subscribe. I cover AI on a daily basis. Like the video, tells the algorithm, hey, I enjoy this type of content. I want to see more of it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you tomorrow with another AI video.